today the learning objectives are what is bearing and how to solve questions from this topic. So let's start with the theory first. What is bearing in map? You're measuring the angle from the north. So north is nothing but the direction that you're talking about. North, south, east and west. So in case of bearing, you're going to measure or you're going to start measuring the angle from the north in the clockwise direction. So clockwise, you know, this is the clockwise direction. And the answer should be written in three figures. Three figures means when you measure, you get an angle of 60 degree. You put your answer as 0, 6, 0. So this is the format or the way in which you have to write your answers when you measure an angle in bearing and if it is just 150 degree it's just the same it remains the same so moving on to the first level one question measuring the bearing of one point from another now the question says what is the bearing of B from A let me bring the figure for you you have two points here and first you should have the line connecting A and B and then you draw the north at each of these points at A and at B. Now uh, you are asked to find the bearing of B from A. So always remember it is a second word see bearing of B bearing of B from A. So that means you start measuring the angle from A. So you have the point A here. You take the knot. From the knot you measure the angle. You keep moving till it touches the line joining the line segment AB. So you're talking about this angle that would be theta which is the bearing of B from A. So you can see it is 0, 7, 0. So the answer here is going to be 70 degree. Now let me explain what is the bearing of A from B. You have the same two points connected by the line segment AB. You should have the north at each of these points. You draw it. And then they are asking you the bearing of A from B. So the second part from B. So you start from where you want. This is B. So you start from the north in the clockwise direction and you stop when you touch the line connecting the points A and B. So this angle should be measured and that gives the bearing. Now from the previous part, uh, you know the bearing of B from A is 70 degree. Now applying the parallel lines and the transversal properties, you have these lines parallel. So what is the angle condition when you have two lines parallel? Let me just remind you. You have A and B and you have these lines parallel. This is being a transversal. So in this case the interior angles A plus B will give you a sum of 180 degree. So I hope you remember this. So if this angle is 70 this is going to be 110 and if this is 110 you know the angle around a point is 360 degree so here you have the point and the total angle is 360 degree so this angle here let me just color it so this angle is going to be 360 minus 110 degree which is going to be 250 degrees. So if you are asked what is the bearing of A from B, so the answer is going to be 250 degrees. Now to check your understanding, let me give you a question here. What is the bearing of A from B? So you can just pause the video and try to solve it.
Now moving on to more difficult questions from bearing, you should have some prior knowledge uh, or some concepts that you need for solving. Number one, parallel lines and angles formed by a transversal. I have discussed this in the previous case where you have two parallel lines and if you have a transversal cutting these lines. So since the lines are parallel, the angles you have A and B, so A plus B should give you 180 degree. At the same time, you know, these are alternate interior angles which are equal. Then you can see that these are vertically opposite angles. So all these concepts could be used for a solution. Angles and property of a triangle. For a triangle, the sum of all the interior angles angle 1 plus angle 2 plus 3, the sum of all the angles gives you 180. The sine rule and the cosine rule, uh, we have uploaded videos earlier from this topic, so you can just use it as a reference. We'll share the links here. And the angles around a point, which we know it's going to be 360 degree. So keeping all these concepts in your mind, we'll be moving to further questions. Question 2. The diagram shows three straight horizontal roads in a town connecting the points P, A and B. You have P, A and B. P, B. Where is P, B? P, B is 250 meter. The angle A, P, B. So angle A, P, B is 23 degree. And the angle B, A, P, B. A, P is 126 degree. Calculate the length of the road A, B. So they are asking you to calculate the length of the road AB. Where is AB? So this is the length that you want. As I have told you earlier, this is a missing side of a triangle that you want. So the first thing, check whether it's a right angle triangle. Of course it's not. Now the second thing is for the sine rule. I would like to have AB, let me just mark it as X. And uh, do I have the opposite angle here? Okay, I can see the side and opposite angle and here again I have an angle and the opposite side so if you want to use the sine rule you have the three parts known and you have an unknown so I will start with the sine rule I will say the side x over sine of angle 23 is equal to 250 over the sine of the angle which is 126 Cross multiplying, I get x equals 250 times sine 23 over sine 126. So using my calculator, I get the answer 120.742. This is what I get from the calculator. I will be rounding my answer to three significant figures, which is 121 uh, meters. So this is the answer to my part A, 121 meter. Moving to part B, the bearing of A from P is 303 degree. Now bearing of A from P, so you start the measurement from P and you move up to the line AP because it's a bearing of A from P. Let me say not a whole circle. Okay, this angle that you can see here this is given to you as 303 now what are they asking you find the bearing of B from P so bearing of B from P so you start from the second part you start from P so you start from the north and you stop here so this is the angle I'm just marking it in red so this is what you want this red angle now it's clearly visible that from the given 303 degree, the angle there, if you minus the 23, you get the red angle, the red region or the angle in the red region. So I'm just minusing this yellow part, which is uh, 23 degree. 303 minus 23, 280 degree. Moving to the last part, the bearing of A from B. So you have A and B, 
they are already connected by a line there you have to find the bearing of A from B so you start from B you measure the angle in the clockwise direction and you get to know that this is the angle that they are looking for I can give you two methods here I'll go with the method 1 first in method 1 I will find this angle first I will use this to find this angle so this is going to be 360 minus 303 which is giving me the 7 degree this is going to be 180 minus 57 giving me 123 degree some of all three angles are going to give me 360 so I will have the green angle here which is 360 minus 123 minus 126 which is going to be equal to 111 degree now if this angle is 111 this is going to be 180 minus 111 giving me a 69 degree so the answer to part uh, 2 here the bearing from A the bearing of A from B is given as 069 degree now in method 2 I know these two lines here I have B this is the north and I have another north here at P these lines are parallel and I will find this is my A. This is 23 degree. This angle we have already found it to be 57. And using the angle sum property of the triangle, I have 126 and 23 here. So I'll find this angle which is going to be 180 minus 126 minus 23 giving me 31 now using the condition that the lines are parallel and the two interior angles are supplementary you have let this, this part be x let the red angle the, yes so it's x plus 31 plus 23 plus 57 making a total of 180 degree from which x is equal so you get the same value here so that's where we stop and i hope you have understood the topic